And what are your views on supermarkets, like the big supermarkets? Oh, they're, they're, they're an opponent. Um, they feed uh, a huge amount of people. Um, uh, they, I think uh, because they're, they're pushing food to the lowest common denominator all the time, because they're, they're entirely price driven, as opposed to where we have to be quality driven, um, that means that they're constantly on, on the search for things that are, that are absolutely the cheapest. And so therefore, it doesn't matter where it comes from. It could come from Mexico or China or Bulumakanka. It doesn't matter, um, provided it's the cheapest around. And often the cheapest, of course, then you end up with um, the poorest quality as a result. So I think, I think the quality of food that would be going through supermarkets in the main would be reasonably poor uh, when it comes to micronutrients and some of the essential things that you've got to have in your tucker. Um, and I think also, well, I mean, this may be just an Australian thing, but the fact that there's really only a, a couple of major supermarkets nowadays means that from the point of view of farmers that are, are selling to them, uh, they don't hold too many cards in the game at all. Uh, they don't really have any sort of a bargaining position to be in. Um, so it's probably suppressing prices to uh, conventional farmers uh, even more, I would say. I think uh, probably another thing that's about uh, supermarkets is because there's a couple of generations of people now have grown up with the knowledge that that's where food comes from. So it's a, it, it creates a disconnect between people who eat food and people who grow food. Uh, the, the supermarket is the big agent in between all that. Um, and the other thing is that uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're uh, one disaster away from a famine. Um, if something happened and all the Woolworths trucks or something went off the road, um, then from what I hear, Woolworths only ever carries about two days' worth of product. Um, in two days' time, all the shops are empty of food. I mean, you've got a whole million people up there demanding food and it's not there. So it's, I always think it's a bit of an interesting, dicky question what happens to um, people if the supermarkets run out of food because <laughs> there's nowhere else they can get it at the moment. Everything in the city is just pretty well locked into the fact that the supermarket supplies the food. Yeah, well, not all of it, I mean, mostly bloody 95% of it, I reckon. <laughs>